Welcome back to The Price of Business. I am your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. Got a lot, as always, to talk about, and uh, we love to cover a lot of different things, and uh, it's no different than others. We're going to spend some time talking about the uh, publishing uh, field, uh, this segment. Uh, a lot of changes going on, and, and a lot of things happening, particularly in regards to uh, the independent publishers out there. And R.M. Willis is our guest. He works with a company called Burning Willow Press, and also is an author himself. How are you today, R.M.? I'm doing all right. Yourself? Doing great, thanks. Tell us a little bit about uh, Burning Willow, uh, Willow Press. Um, well, Burning Willow Press was started by me and uh, my author friend Kendra Souter and her husband Ed. Um, we started it back in November of 2014. Um, we were both authors, and we decided that uh, we didn't like what some of the big, uh, bigger publishing houses were doing, and we thought we'd take a different approach. Okay. And uh, how is your approach different? Um, we're more geared towards rewarding the author as opposed to the business. Um, we want to give the authors more royalties and more control over the end product of their book. Um, and we collect just enough money to keep the business's doors open and give as much back to the author as possible because, I mean, really it's their work. Okay. And do you, uh, are you a pure traditional publisher or do you a hybrid publisher or kind of, des- you know, describe your, your model? Um, I guess you could consider us a, a, a hybrid um, publisher. Um, we pay for the uh, the editing, the artwork, um, the setup, um, all the marketing. So from that standpoint, you could consider us traditional Um but we really include the author. Um, the author has final say on what the cover looks like. Um, they have a lot of power on who their cover artist is, who their editor is. Um, we don't force feed it to them um, so that they have a lot more say on what the final product is, and that's kind of where we're more hybrid. Yeah, and I think actually just for clar- clarification's sake, when I meant by hybrid is what I meant in the uh, traditional publishing expression where the author pays for a part of the getting the product out there and the publisher pays for a part. It's not like that at all. Oh. You, you're really a no, traditional no, no, no. publisher in no, that respect. No, we, we pay for everything. You pay for everything, yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Now tell us a little bit about the uh, genres of books. Um, we concentrate on uh, science fiction, fantasy, and horror. Got it. And when did you all get started? Uh, November of uh, last year. Wow, so really new. And you already have several titles out. How many books do you already have uh, published? Um, We have four published. We're releasing our fifth tomorrow. Wow, what is that one? Um, The fifth one is called The Blood of an Immortal. Um, It's a pirate fantasy. Oh, that sounds really interesting. By the way, um, I am, I'm not much of the uh, fantasy or sci-fi reader, but uh, my son, Christian, is, and he, uh, in fact, writes an article over at uh, usdailyreview.com that is a book review in our books section of usdailyreview.com, uh, and he reviews a lot of uh, particularly fantasy work. That's his favorite uh, genre. He's actually a really good oh, writer. I, I keep on telling him he ought, to, he ought to try to write a book himself. Uh, but yeah. uh, he read Your Power Rises, and he thought it was an extremely well-done story, very compelling. Oh, good. Thank you. Yeah, Thank he you. really enjoyed it. You might want to send him a copy of your new book uh, coming out. He will review it. It will show up over at USDataReview.com, which gets about a million hits a month. But he really liked your work. He was v- very impressed. You know, um, he, uh, uh, yeah, he went on quite a bit about it. And so I was, uh, I was happy for you guys that uh, you made such a, such a good work. Let me tell you, I'm, I consider myself a fairly ferocious reader, uh, but uh, I, uh, you know, I've got decades on him age-wise. He's the youngest of my children, but he's probably read as much as I've read. He's, he's incredible uh, how much mass volumes of reading he does. So congratulations. So um, tell me about uh, what your goals are on an annual basis. I mean, in, in, since November, which essentially was the end of last year, you know, you've already done essentially four books or close to four books this year. What do you think you'll do each year? And what are you doing in order to market those books? 
Um, as far as what I think we'll do this year, you know, I'm, I don't know. That's hard to project. Um, what we'd like to – initially what Kendra and I had talked about was doing one book a month. Um, but once the submissions started rolling in um, and, and we, we started getting – a whole of a lot of good talent. Um, Michael S. Gardner, uh, we released a book by Steve Winfrey, and we're, we're putting, of course, Kendra's books. Um, we, we realized that we're going to have to kind of up our game a little bit, so now we're looking at maybe two a month, if not three a month. And, wow. and as we get better at, at doing it, we'll, you know, increase our, our output. Um, so, you know, hopefully within the next few years we'll be doing – I'd like to see us doing a hundred a year. That's a lot of books. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and again, kind of elaborate on the marketing because you know you can you can build them, but how how will people get you know get their hands on these? I mean, how well, do they know about them to get their hands on them? Right. Um, first is is through social media, um, promoting through Facebook and and Twitter, and uh, we just started on Instagram. Um, getting the word out that way. We have quite a few followers um, between all of our accounts. You know, we're, we're in the neighborhood of the thousands of followers. Um, and then uh, after that, it's it's really kind of word of mouth. I mean, the the best way to sell a book is to have people recommending it to a fr- their friends, um, going into Goodreads, um, encouraging our authors to be part of that community, Um and that's that's kind of where we're at right now. We'd like to do some more stuff like this, you know, do the the PR stuff and get our name out there through uh, um, this type of an avenue. So thank you very much for having me on and and giving us this opportunity. Um, and then you know once we start to have more of a revenue flow, then we can look at uh, you know doing maybe putting out some commercials or something like that. We do have an ad in Horror Geeks magazine. Uh, that we put out. Kendra worked for them for a little while, and we got a deal for doing that. So, Very good. Well, I, I congratulate you on your entrepreneurship and on your uh, great work, and I wish you well. R.M. Willis, Burning Willow Press. Thanks for being with us. Thank you so much. Make sure you check out burningwillowpress.com, and uh, in particular, my son highly recommends. I think he's only read the uh, that that uh, one book of yours, uh, but I, I got a feeling he's going to be checking out some of the others. But make sure you check out uh, Power Rises, The Ways of Power Book One by our guest today, R.M. Willis. All right, when we come back, much more for you. I do want to remind you, best content here shows up over there at USADareview.com, and this is The Price of Business. <laughs> 